Evidently, the challenge question number 24 from the homework seems to be giving quite a bit of you trouble, so I took the liberty of saying, you know what, I'm going to make a little video. So here we go. Um, you're asked to find out what the length of this is right over here. And to me, it looks like the length of the large, um, large triangle's hypotenuse. So we have to figure out how to find that. So my thing is like, okay, well, where do we start? Well, let's start filling in some angles, you know? Like, for example, this is 20 degrees over here, so let's put the 20 degrees in. Now, if you notice, we have two right triangles, one that has the 15 degree um, angle and the other one has a 20 degree. And if you were to take a moment to think about what they share in common, you should hit pause right now and say, hmm, I think I know what it is, and then wait, and then I'll come back and tell you what it is, okay? Um, and if you do think about what they have in common, you should recognize that Y is who they have in common. Um, so my thing is, is if they have Y in common, I want to use some trig equations to write with the 20 degree triangle and with the 15 degree triangle. So that way, if they both have a Y in them, I can set them equal to each other in some way, shape or form. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of algebra and being a little bit clever. So first things first is I don't know what the length of this side is right here. So I'm going to call him A which means the length of this entire segment here is going to be 2 plus A. So now the cool thing is, is if I go back to the, the triangle that has the 20 degrees, I'm going to create a relationship and I'm going to do is I want to say that the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to Y over A. And if I solve for Y, I get Y is equal to A times the tangent of 20. Okay? Would you agree? Because you multiply both sides by A. Now we go to the bigger triangle, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create the same relationship that we possibly can involving y. This time, we're going to say that the tangent of tangent of 15 degrees is equal to 2. I'm sorry, is equal to y over 2 plus a. And if I solve this for y, I get y is equal to 2 plus a times the tangent of 15. Now, if you notice y equals this and y equals that. So if y equals this and y equals that, doesn't it make this guy equal to that guy? I hope you said yes. Now, I'm going to come on over here because I need some space and I'm going to set them equal to each other. So I have that a times the tangent of 20 is equal to 2 plus a times the tangent of 15. If you recognize this, this is simply an algebra problem. So if you go ahead now, do me a favor and find out what the tangent of 20 is and find out what the tangent of 15 is, So, um, and then come back to me. Okay, now that you've come back to me, for those of you who actually did it, the tangent of 20 is 0 0.3640, so 0 0.3640a is equal to, now I'm going to distribute this tangent of 15 through, so I have to multiply 2 times the tangent of 15, which will give me 0.5359 plus a times the tangent of 15 is 0.2679a. This is an algebra 1 problem, so I'm going to subtract to, uh, 0.2679 from both sides, and I'm going to um, divide my answer by 53.59, and if I go through and do that, I wind up with a, I'll do it, oh, for God's sakes. All right, so if you don't understand what you're doing, so if you do minus, whoops, go to the pen, minus 0.2679a, minus 0.2679a. When I do that, this gives me 0.0961a is equal to 0.5359. So if I divide both sides by this guy, don't forget you have to use your decimals and you have calculators, so let's not lose sight of what's going on here. You wind up with a equaling 5.576. So a is equal to 5.576, making the length of this whole segment 7.576. So, now that we have that, we can go ahead and find out actually what x is equal to because that's what our goal is. Our goal is to find out what x equals. So, um, in doing that, if you look at your big triangle, which I'm going to highlight in yellow, is here's my big triangle right over here. Yes, big, pretty yellow triangle. Okay, so now I have the length of this side, which is 7.576. I have the 15 degree angle, so I can find x. So that to me, I don't know about you guys, but to me, it's screaming the cosine. So I should have the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to 7.576 divided by x. And that tells me that um, if I solve for x, x is going to be equal to 7.576 divided by 
the cosine of 15. And if I look down, x should equal 7.843. That, my friends, is x. So now, let's do a quick recap. So when we first started this off, the first thing we did was like, let's find out what this angle is over here because we should recognize we have two pretty right triangles that share that side right there. Now that we know that they share that side, we created trig equations involving that side, like we did for the small guy, we did the tangent of 20 is equal to y over a. For the big guy, we did the tangent of 15 is equal to y over 2 plus a, and we solved each one of those for y. This one I multiply both sides by a, so I got this. This one over here, I multiply both sides by 2 plus a. Notice I use parentheses because I'm a good math person. And because y equals this and y equaled that, we were able to set those two equal to each other to find out what a was equal to. And by doing some magical math over here, we came up that a was equal to 5.576. Once we had a, uh, what a was equal to, we were able to find x because we now knew the length of this side of the big triangle was 7.576. And using the 15 degree angle, we use the cosine of that angle is equal to 7.576 over x, and we got x to equal 7.843. I hope this was helpful.